Hi, it's Phil from Delphi. Now in today's video, we're gonna be looking at how to replace the low voltage battery in a Tesla Model 3 or Model Y. So before we go into the vehicle, I wanna discuss low voltage batteries. This one is the one you're all familiar with. It's the standard shape and size. It's a 12 volt battery. It could be lead acid or absorbed glass mats. The size of the battery and how much cold cranking amps it's got purely depends on the engine it's got to start. Inside the battery, we have six cells. Each cell is 2.1 volts, totaling 12.6 volts in total. So that's how we know when a battery here is fully charged, we should be reading around 12.6 volts. This has a battery capacity. This particular one is 12 volt and 80 amp hours. Much, much more considering the Tesla's 6.9 amp hours. This one here is the Tesla Model Y and Model 3 battery. This one is a lithium ion battery and it has a much smaller capacity. On top of that, this one, as we always know, is 12 volts. This one is now has a 16 volt battery. It consists of four lithium ion cells, totaling 16 volt. This one here is 6.9 amp hours, which is very different than a normal battery. Normal batteries are anywhere between 50 and 120 amp hours. So much smaller capacity. So we have the main two connection pins, and then through the middle, you can see we have three communication pins. On the battery on the top, we have the four cells, and then we have a MOFSET unit at the very top containing a computer board, which is what communicates with the onboard computer on the vehicle. And we're gonna see a big change to low voltage architecture. Here we have the 12 volt, we're moving now to 16 volt, and we're already beginning to fit 48 volt batteries and 48 volt architecture systems to the vehicles of today. And as we know, as we can increase the voltage, we decrease the current, and it is a more efficient system with less electrical energy wasted in heat. So let's jump in the car and have a look. This car is currently reporting on the screen an issue with its low voltage battery. We're gonna head into service menu and let's diagnose the problem. Okay then, so let's go into the service menu. We can go to service, into software, sorry, press on the model Y button, type in the standard password service. This allows us to activate the service menu. And within the service menu, this car is having a low voltage battery warning. We're gonna to go to low voltage and power distribution. So we can see from the graphic visualization that there's a problem with the low voltage battery. We can see the different cell temperatures, they look okay, but this cell, the, the voltage of this um, 16 volt lithium ion battery is, is getting a bit low. It looks like it needs to be replaced. Now, when you do replace it, some of them will learn automatically but if not, when we do do the replacement, we can have a button here which says learn new battery. And this will just calibrate it into the car um, when we do fit that new one. So it's really good that we can do this in service menu for calibration of a battery on this car. We don't need a diagnostic tool. Everything can be accessed um, from this section of the service menu. It needs a new battery. Let's jump to the front and let's get it replaced. Replacing the lithium ion battery on these cars is really easy to do. Model 3 is exceptionally easy because we can access it straight away under the scuttle panel. Model Ys have what's called bioweapon defense mode. It consists of a large HEPA filter assembly underneath the scuttle. So we're gonna to have to remove that as well to gain access to the battery on this particular Model Y. So to do it, nice and simple, scuttle panel off first, main front tray here, and then HEPA filter assembly. So let's do that first now. So we can remove the scuttle panel tray. It's clipped along all the edges. Next, we can remove the access panel here, which contains the light and the switch for the front release. We're gonna use a trim tool. We can pop the panel lift it out and then disconnect the wiring. Now we have four 10 mil bolts on this particular car. <laughs> Lastly, we have a small clip on the right hand side, just holding the screen wash funnel. We'll drop that clip off and we can remove the front tub. Bolts and clips are out, we can remove the trunk tub. Now 
Now that the tub is removed, we have finally two more 10 mil bolts here, which will allow us to remove the HEPA filter assembly. Tubs out, bolts removed, we can now lift out the HEPA filter assembly. So we've got the new battery, I'm gonna drop that there. First thing we need to do is remove the old battery. So we've got the green communication clip at the top. When we lift this out, we're gonna hear a warning message on the dashboard to say that it's been disconnected and then we can disconnect the main connector harness. Disconnection of the harness is complete. What you will notice at this point is that there is nothing happened inside the car. When you do this on a normal combustion engine, disconnect the 12 volt, then the car's gonna go off. But at the moment, the full vehicle is being supported by the DC to DC converter, so everything on that car is still fully live. Just something to be aware of. Next, we can remove the bolts from the battery. Old battery out, new battery in. So we're gonna zip these down and then we're gonna talk them up. The three bolts are torqued up to six newton meters or 4.4 pound foot. We're now ready to remove the protective cap and reconnect the low voltage harness. Click it into place. Drop the communication pin down. Now if you find that the battery error hasn't gone and resetting the battery doesn't work for some reason, you can always disconnect the high voltage loop here that will basically shut the car down completely. If you're gonna to have to do this, you need to re-disconnect this first, then disconnect the high voltage loop. That will essentially kill the car completely and will allow it to do a final reset. So the battery's been replaced. We can see here on the display, we have a green on the battery. If I tap the battery icon, it gives us some information about the low voltage battery. We can see the target voltage is 15.5 volts almost fully charged for this 16 volt lithium ion battery. If we needed to, and there were additional warning messages, either about low voltage battery replacement or low voltage power system reduced, then we would tap here on learn a new battery, but this particular one as kind of self learns. Since everything's done, we go ahead, exit service menu using this button here, and we can return the vehicle to the customer. Thanks for watching. For more videos, why not follow us on social media or visit the Masters of Motion online hub. And for more expert-led courses, visit us online at the Delphi Academy. See you next time.